Hello. Okay, today we're gonna talk about how to switch on switch on an LED using a transistor. Uh, a, a B BJT transi transistor NPN. I'm gonna use the 2N3904, which is very common. And uh, for switching application, uh, to switch on something, usually you want to be in. Uh, you want to put the transition transistor in saturation. So we're gonna have to talk about that a little bit. So let's see the let's see the circuit. I have my notes on the left, but the circuit looks like this. So this is power supply and I'm gonna put that 5 volt. You can put something else if you want, but I use 5 volt. So here I'm gonna put the LED. So that's your LED. And okay, so then I'm gonna put RC. C for collector because the collector of the transistor is here. So the collector. So this is NPN. So this is the emitter. This is the base. And uh, so that's it. Okay. So you have the LED here. You have the collector resistance. You have the transistor and that's it so that's uh, like this the the LED will not will not uh, will not light up it's gonna it's switched off okay but to make it light up what we're gonna do is that we're gonna connect the power supply to the base like so so this one is going to be called RB. Okay, so what are the assumptions? Okay, so the assumption is that the, uh, this value, so the V, uh, no, this is VLED, is going to be equal, equal to 2 volts. Okay. Uh, let me put this is going to be IC. This is going to be IB. And this is IIE. Okay, so V LED is 2 volts. IC. Uh, IC. Okay, so V LED. <coughs> equal 2 volts and the IC is going to be equal to 20 milliamps. And how do I get those values? You just look at the LED recommendation or whatever you want to call it here. Maybe it's not very clear. Hopefully you can read, maybe you can't. So I'm using the red one. And it says the V LED is between 1.9 and 2.1 volts. That's why I use two. And this is the IC, 20 milliamps. Okay, so that's where those values come from. Okay. So here this is VCE. And here this is VBE. And VBE. I'm going to put it at, uh, what did I use? 0 0.7. You can use 0 0.6, 0 0.65, whatever. I use 0 0.7. Okay, so now let's put some equations down because we need to figure out what RC and what R RB are supposed to be. Okay, so let's look at, uh, uh, let's, let's get, let's compute, let's uh, write down the, the voltage from this point 
to that point on this leg this leg so you have the v v led plus rc ic plus vce equals 5 volts we already know this is 2 volts this is 20 milli amps and vce uh, as i said before uh, when you do switching when you use a transistor as a switching apparatus vc is zero so this is zero volts uh, i don't know if you're familiar with the transistor but if you plot IC as a function of VCE you get something that looks like this you get those characteristic curves okay and each one of them like this one IB equals 0 so this is the base current IB equal I don't know 10 micro amp 20 micro amp 30 40 etc etc and uh, this zone uh, usually it's around 0.3 here 0.3 volts this zone here the, that whole thing here is called the saturation region and there's also a cutoff region which is here under the IB equals zero so this one is called the cutoff region so if i b equals zero so let's say you disconnect here you'd be in cutoff situation and it me which means that uh, the led will not light up but here we are talking about saturation to turn on the led okay so 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 this is the this leg and now we're going to look at that leg same thing so we have RB IB plus VBE equals also 5 volts VBE is 0 0.7 volts uh, so IB we don't know and RB we don't know okay so from that so equation 1 equation 2 Okay, let me go up a little bit like this okay so now you can from this from one you can get rc so rc equal so five volts minus two volts the v lead v led v led divided by the ic which is 20 milli amp and it gives you 150 ohms so that's your RC okay so that's this one 150 ohms now we need to figure out what RB is supposed to be so RB is 5 volts minus 0 0.7 volts divided by IB the problem is that we don't know what IB is so in the active region so whenever you use like a the transistor as an amplifier you, you know that you have IC equal beta IB but that's not true when you reach uh, saturation so this is active region only this region okay which is not in saturation and not in cutoff so whatever is left is active region so you have ic equal beta ib the problem is that beta what is beta uh, it's not a the problem is that it's it's uh it's not a fixed number it depends on the transistor you're using even 
if you are if you are using the same transistor as as uh, as me you may get a different beta it also depends on the temperature so you cannot rely on the beta but for switching application usually what you do instead of using the true beta you use beta equal 10 you can also use 15 or 20 but you don't use the actual beta you use like something like this these kinds of guarantees that you are way in the saturated regions it's uh, basically it's called hard saturation okay you want to make sure you are the transist the transist you want to make sure the transistor is well saturated is well into the saturation region and that's called hard saturation because you don't want to be in the active region when switching when doing switching application so we're going to use beta equal 10 so this means that ib is equal to so the 20 milliamp divided by 10 which means it's 2 milliamp so now we can compute rb so now rb rb is equal to so 5 volt minus 0 0.7 volts divided by ib so that's 4.3 divided by 2 milli so this is volt and i think i computed that before it's 2.15 kilo ohms 2 15 kilo ohms if you were to use the true beta uh, so the, the true beta is probably 100 or even 200 so it would be a much much larger value for rb but we're going to use this one rb 2.15 uh, what else can i say Yes, yeah, so in the uh, in active in the active region, what you usually have is VC. VC is greater than VB, which means that the it's reverse biased. Okay, so the CB connection is reverse biased. So that's in the. Uh, uh, like if you use the, uh, the transistor as an amplifier, so active region, VC, VC greater than VB, and you have VB, VB equal VE plus the 0 0.7, 0 0.7. So this is, let me put this back. So VB equal V plus 0.7, this is forward biased. So when you are in the saturation region, saturation region, this one is not true anymore. Okay. You have uh, in the saturation region, uh, the CB connection is not reverse biased anymore. So in our case, uh, we have since we have VCE equal zero and VE is equal to zero, VC is zero. And what is VB? VB is equal to VE plus 0.7. But V is equal to zero, so VB is equal to 0 0.7. So as you can see, VC is less than VB. Okay, so this condition is not fulfilled. Okay, in the saturation region. Saturation. Okay, so. So now that we have our RB and RC values, 
to switch on the LED, let's build that circuit. Okay, so I've started uh, making the circuit. So for now, what I did, okay, so what I did, so I did this part, this part, but instead of connecting to the collector, I connect to the negative of the power supplies, just to make sure that my LED is working. Okay, so it's working. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this thing here. Okay. I can leave it on, doesn't really matter. Okay, so let me remember what I did. So I have to go from, so I cannot, so this has to go now to the collector. And the collector is the one on the right, this collector of my transistor. And then the emitter of the transistor gets connected to the ground, right here. So the LED doesn't light up because right now there's no, there's no current going into the base of the transistor, meaning that IB is equal to zero, which means that uh, the transistor is uh, it's not connected. So the, it's in the, it's in its uh, cutoff region. So the LED is not switched on. So now let's try to switch on the LED. So let me see if I have jump wires. So now I'm going to do this part. I'm going to do this leg here. Okay. This leg. So you connect the plus to RB. So RB. So connect the plus to RB and then you go to the base. So right now the RB is pretty large. It's not 2.15k. It's much more than that. Okay. So even so even with the so RB right now is very large, it's probably around, uh, well, it's very large, it's uh, 100k. Remember that we figured out that it should be 2.15k ohms, so there's plenty of room. So even with such a large RB resistance, the uh, LED is still is switched on. So you don't need much, we, you don't need much current going into the base. So if you want to go to 215, I think it's around here. It's about here. Okay, so that's 2.15. And you want to make sure this doesn't get hot, but it shouldn't. So this is the, the circuit exactly as we designed it. So we have RC equal 150. This spot is 150. I set it to 150. And the RB is about 2.15k ohms. Okay, but if you want to play it safe, you can certainly de increase that resistance. It doesn't make much difference. Okay, so you can you even go to 100k. Okay, remember, it's because we use the, in our equations, we use the beta equal to 10, not the actual beta. Okay. All right, so that's it. Uh, so, so here the LED is switched on, and if we we set IB to zero by just disconnecting the this lead that goes into the base, it's turned off, turned on, turned off, turned on, turned off. It's that simple. All right. If you like this kind of uh, video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will make more. So I'll see you around. Bye.